Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today I've got massive stories, starting with new Ryzen CPUs, a new Navi gaming GPU, AMD announced their next-gen desktop APUs, and Ryzen 7000 comes with a huge secret. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, while AMD technically released their Ryzen 9 5900 and Ryzen 7 5800 non-XT models back in January, no system builders actually offered the CPUs. Remember that the non-X models are OEM only parts, so they aren't available to the DIY market. Either way, the parts have been made available with the Alienware Aurora Ryzen Edition R10 gaming desktop. And as you can see, you're able to buy them right now. Really though, the interesting part here is pricing. According to Dell, opting for the 5800 non-X model over the X model saves you a very nice $150. What's even more wild is that getting the 5900 non-X model over the 5900X actually saves you a whopping 300 bucks. I'm assuming Dell is charging a much higher premium for the X models given they're almost certainly nowhere near that much cheaper from AMD. Regardless, if you're looking to purchase this Alienware model, I'd definitely opt for the non-X parts and try to overclock them. Really, even if you don't overclock, the price difference is likely still worth it. At the end of the day, you may want to wait for third-party reviews. Now, when you're finally able to buy a GPU, keep your data safe with today's sponsor, Dashlane. Dashlane not only keeps your data safe, but makes everything easier to access across all of your devices. For starters, it helps you create strong passwords, stores them securely, and autofills them in so you never forget a password again. Not only that, but Dashlane secures your credit cards and addresses and autofills those across all of your devices so you don't have to go looking for your wallet. Oh, and Dashlane has their own VPN, meaning they've really got it all. So if you find this as helpful as I do, you can try Try Dashlane for free on your first device at dashlane.com slash gamermelt. And if you decide to upgrade to premium, you can use my code gamermelt for 25% off. Next up for today, it looks like AMD has released a new GPU that's more powerful than their regular RX 6900 XT. Yep, no one can buy their older GPUs, yet AMD's still releasing more for some reason. Why? Regardless, it uses the new Navi21 XTX H GPU, which we actually saw a little while back. The model is apparently a higher bin model, and the first card with it has actually dropped from power color called the Red Devil 6900 XT Ultimate, and it even has its first review. Now, when it comes to specs, because this is just a heavily binned GPU, the Red Devil ultimately has the same cores and VRAM as the original Navi21 XTX, which is what the 6900 XT is made from. The difference ultimately boils down to clocks. It comes with a very impressive game clock of 2235 MHz and a boost of 2425, at least while in the overclock mode BIOS. One wild thing is that it actually comes with a whopping three 8-pin connectors. And while it does get some pretty huge power draw when overclocking, it still doesn't quite get up to a 3090. As for performance, the 6900 XT does get a small boost over other models, though it's nothing to write home about. It does look like other third-party vendors are set to release their versions of the card as well. Of course, whether you'll ever be able to buy one is still up in the air. And the releases don't stop with today's next story. That's right, AMD officially announced their next-gen desktop Ryzen 5000 G APUs, so let's go over them. Starting things off, AMD announced three new processors. The Ryzen 3 5300G, Ryzen 5 5600G, and Ryzen 7 5700G. The Ryzen 3 part is a 4-core 8-thread CPU with a base clock of 4 GHz and a boost of 4.2. Next is the 5600G, which is a 6-core, 12-thread part with a base clock of 3.9 GHz and a boost of 4.4. And finally is the 5700G, which is an 8-core part with a base clock of 3.8 GHz and a boost of 4.6. Now, oddly enough, AMD only compares them to Intel's 10th gen CPUs instead of their 11th gen. They also didn't compare the integrated GPUs. Remember that Intel's 11th gen iGPU uses their new XE architecture, so it should get a pretty big boost. Ultimately, I'd suggest waiting for third-party reviews anyway. Then again, you likely won't be able to get one considering they're OEM only, at least for now. I say that because it looks like AMD is set to release them to the DIY market later this year. 
Then again, with today's final story, AMD's desktop APUs could soon become obsolete, as the future of Ryzen CPUs could seriously change things up. So let's get right to it. First up, if you follow the channel, you know that mid last year, the Twitter user MeBU began sharing a client roadmap of AMD's future products. Since then, the roadmap has proven to be incredibly accurate, and now we have a new piece from a different user. Luckily, this piece looks to be from the same image given the pixels fit so perfectly, and it ultimately looks to confirm recent rumors as well as give us a huge new detail. For starters, as you can see, we have Vermeer, which is the current Ryzen 5000 series of CPUs. Then there's Warhol, which would be next gen, and it shows that we're looking at the 7 nanometer process yet again. What's interesting is that Copite 7 Kimmy seemed to agree with the recent roadmap, claiming the next process will be 6 nanometer Zen 3 Plus, and that roadmap was shared by the same user who shared this, and that goes with previous leaks. This roadmap is just likely a bit older. Either way, the next generation Raphael, which is the piece we just got, does show 5 nanometers, which once again points to the recent leaks we've seen on 5 nanometers not coming until after Zen 3 Plus. The biggest news here, though, is that Raphael is set to come with a Navi 2 based GPU, meaning similar to Intel, future CPUs could all come with integrated GPUs. Maybe AMD will offer some without them, like Intel's F series, but I'm not sure. Regardless, like video cards suggest, this could be why AMD hasn't made their 4000G or 5000G APUs available to the DIY market. Though, like I said, the 5000G parts are expected to come later. Still, they're likely planning to phase them out for desktop because all of their CPUs will effectively be their APUs. At the end of the day, AMD could change their mind, but this roadmap seems to perfectly fit tons of rumors and leaks nicely together. Time, as always, will tell. So while that does it for today, are you excited for AMD's Ryzen 7000 CPUs or are you still in the market for a new GPU? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like talking PC hardware, make sure to subscribe to the GamerMelt Discord server. And as always, have a great day!